Who do internet and welcome to Deadpool the game where obviously if you haven't heard Deadpool came out in the UK on Wednesday because I went to the very first showing I could get it was like uh, 25 past 11 in the morning I went to go watch it and uh, I thought play a bit of the challenge mode and uh, We'll have a little spoiler-free talk about the movie. I might do a spoiler one later on, but yeah. So, done Great White News HQ, but if the streets is where we're going now. Right then, so we are in the sewers. I'm guessing we're, do yeah, we're doing a wave survival again. Um, I wasn't sure if all the challenges were wave survival or not. This, by the way, is a great game. I did not give it enough credit because I only recently bought it, but uh, it is genuinely a great game. Definitely uh, worth whatever I paid for. It's like twenty-five quid some like that on the sale. Definitely worth the money. Um, however, yes, Deadpool the movie came out. Obviously, it was. Everything everybody wanted. Might as well get that off the bat. Everybody, well, I've seen a lot, a lot of good reviews. Apparently, I did actually read earlier. It is predicted, well, projected to get a make a hundred thirty million dollars in the, its first weekend of being released. That is fucking ridiculous, especially for a. Uh, a film of that type, yes it's a superhero movie, but no, it's not, at the same time. As uh, Ryan Reynolds keeps saying, it is a love film. And genuinely, you can actually tell that they, uh, they quite believe that. And uh, it's explained in a very Deadpool way. It's just non-stop brilliant. Like every, every time... I started to get slightly bored, like, you know, you know, when you're just watching a film and it's like, oh, this part's a bit dull. Not, didn't happen once. Like, it started, I started to feel like, ah, oh, this bit's dragging on or whatever, but immediately something will be said or something will happen and it'll just make it ten times better. And it's like, nice, <laughs> you're just done there. But, um, no, the... I like the way they changed. Basically, obviously, it's a movie, so they're not do they're not going to uh, follow the exact comic route because it'd be extremely hard to understand having read Deadpool because Deadpool's just ridiculous. That it's having to choose one of the uh, origin stories, but I like the way they changed part of it. Again, no spoilers, but uh, yeah, it's. A crap ton of fun to watch. So many references that I really need to go see it a second time. Because I, I guarantee I did not get all the references at first. Oh, shit, I've run out of time. Who's left? Go, 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 go. Die, you son of a bitch. Hey. There's one bit done. Well, we'll just fly through on easy at first. And then we'll move up to the hard ones, depending on how long I want to talk about Deadpool. But it's only been five minutes, so let's carry on. But, yeah, Ryan Reynolds is born to play Deadpool. Truly born to play Deadpool. I think the first time I really... was convinced that he's the only one that can play Deadpool is... He's played Trinity. His character in that was very Deadpool-esque, just constantly talking, making jokes, but he takes it up to a very high new level in the film. But um, I'm just trying to think of what I can say without actually spoiling the film. Be on the lookout for the uh, opening credits. Uh, there's one thing I should probably say. Um, if you are going to see the film and you haven't seen it yet, which it's been out for, a, what, a day in, in the US? 
I don't know where it came out everywhere else. I just kept hearing that it wasn't out until the Friday in the US. So. But, uh, yeah. Make sure you stay after the credits. That's always a good thing to uh, know going in. Because we saw, like, I went with my flatmate and we saw a couple of people actually leave as soon as the credits hit. And you're like, why? Just why? But, um, even the credits themselves were quite enjoyable. Which is mental. But, um, yeah. I highly recommend the film. The way they, uh, the way they do all the references and the fact that nobody ever. Like, obviously it's Deadpool, he's breaking the fourth wall left, right and centre but the best thing that they did was the fact that nobody really reacts whenever he says it like there is a point where he mentions Ryan Reynolds but uh, no reaction whatsoever of why he's mentioning Ryan Reynolds or anything like that in the film which is brilliant it's always funnier when someone just doesn't react to something because that's when you know it's made for you. <laughs> but, stupidly good movie. The costume, brilliant. Action was phenomenal. But I can still say, like, the action was brilliant. I keep saying it to people. The action's maybe 30, 40% of the film, maybe. And, like, they actually have action scenes in it. Not the best part, but still amazing when it's going on. And um, another thing I really, really appreciated with the film is the fact that the trailers were frigging great. And every time you see a trailer that's got jokes in it, generally you think, oh, it's, it's going to spoil the joke when I watch the film. It, they, they cut parts of the jokes out of the trailers, making it so... It still catches you off guard. Like the whole avocado having sex with an older avocado. That has a bit attached to it, which is great, <laughs> to say the least. But uh, I'm probably a little bit biased because I've always loved Deadpool. And uh, it's purely my sense of humour. I like that kind of stuff. Like some of the things will get you thinking, other things just purely being immature for immature's sake which is brilliant so even if you haven't really seen Deadpool or know his backstory you'll still enjoy the film as long as you've got like the only thing that you'll really need uh, previous knowledge for is maybe some of the X-Men films because obviously it is a Fox thing so it's based more off the mutants than anything of the normal Marvel uh, cinematic universe. It would help if I could talk. But um, yeah, it's definitely lived up to my expectations. And as it's already been reported in the news, I can tell you, they're already working on Deadpool 2. So yeah, I'm happy. Hopefully it's not too far away. I don't want to wait too long. But I'm immediately going to be buying Blu-ray whatever of the film I heard somewhere I don't know I've got to find the exact source apparently um, apparently the the DVD is going to have more C well it's going to be an extended thing so if that's true that's going to be fucking cool because I cannot get enough of that but uh, yeah generally I can't really think of a bit that it's proper upsetting about the film. Like generally, I liked every character to the point where I liked a free and taxi driver. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to keep it short because I'm just going to end up jerking off over Deadpool. But yeah, go get the game. It's on sale on everything. Xbox 360, Xbox One and Steam. It's, I think it's 15 quid on Steam, so I'll definitely pick it up. But yeah, um... Yeah, we'll leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you want to see more of Deadpool the game, let me know. I'll play. More than happy. I've got to collect all the achievements anyway. I finally broke 80,000 gamers. Go, go me. But yeah, I shall speak to you all 
very, very soon. <laughs>